Hello again, Andrew Bell, Abel Sim. We're doing a series of videos that are looking at how to set up a Word document for a master's dissertation. This short video is looking at how to set up the headings. Uh, this allows easy navigation of the document as it gets bigger and bigger. So this is the document that we uh, have been working on. It was set up into sections in our first video clip and page numbering was done in the second video clip. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select these items and I'm going to make them headings in Word. And I'm also going to do that for the main chapters. And I'm going to do it for the main sections that I've got the references, the bibliography and the appendices. I've set those up there just by clicking the default heading one uh, on the home ribbon in Word. Now, if I go to the view tab, I can turn on the navigation pane and these are the headings that I've selected and it's called the navigation pane because if I want to go back to the abstract I can jump here if I want to go to the appendices I can jump here this more benefit than just moving around and navigating the document I could actually say and don't do this in real life I could take the bibliography and say everything in the bibliography I want to move to this section uh, and that would move the whole section so a lot easier than cutting and pasting I'll put it back where it belongs okay now in the main section um, chapter one is going to be introduction we'll do numbering in the next video clip the literature review and conclusion we're going to have some sub chapter headings in here uh, one of them might be the uh, the aims i'm just going to put some text in first and then the aims which then may have some text following it then i might want a heading for the objectives with some text following it uh, the same for the literature review uh, i'm going to want some uh, introduction an introduction is required for every chapter and also a summary of the chapter um, we probably don't want an introduction for chapter one because it's titled introduction and we probably don't want a summary for chapter one because usually the last part of chapter one explains what is coming up in the dissertation chapter two three four um, but uh, introduction and summary for every chapter all the way through to the conclusion now the main content of my literature review will be the topics that are existing the main topics for the literature review will be taken from the title. So we may have um, topic one with some text and then topic two with some text. And then there may be a sub topic two, so part A and a sub topic two, part B. What we're going to do is we're going to take uh, these sections. So the uh, the aim is going to be on the home tab. It's going to be a heading two. Same for the objectives. OK, in the literature review, the introduction is going to be a heading two. Topic one is going to be a heading two. Topic two is going to be a heading two. Uh, then we've got subtopic two A. It's going to be heading three. That might be followed with some text explaining what it is. And then subtopic 2B is also heading 3. And uh, the heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, we can see as indentations in our navigation pane. I can actually collapse these down so you can't see the detail. Uh, and that is a good way of putting the headings into Word. It allows uh, a supervisor who's uh, reviewing and giving feedback on your material the ability to jump around between the aims and the objectives and then looking at your conclusion and then just reminding what was written in the abstract. So it is very useful to navigate around the document. And as we see in the next section, we're going to put a numbering system on these headings and then we're going to use that numbering system to provide an automatic table of contents 
so that's it for this short video thank you for watching and um hope you look look here hope you're looking for the next video thank you